Okay, well, I thought it was about time I did another run-through of this pedal board, as, well, the last time I ran through this was maybe, maybe 10, 11 years ago, and there's been a few changes since then. So this is my Boss BCB60, and what I've got in there is, uh, well, in the signal chain, I've got a uh, an Ibanez tuner, which is essentially been picked because it was one of the few I could find that actually fitted in that slot as for some reason this this sort of uh, form factor of tuner has become very very difficult to find these days then I have a, a CS3 compressor which is uh, just straight out of the box then there's a Keeley modded distortion it's got the ultra mod in it a Keeley modded uh, Super Overdrive, Keely Modded Blues Driver, Bone Stock Super Chorus, and then at the end there is an Ibanez AD9 Tube Screamer from the 80s. And uh, it's not quite at the end because shoehorned into the uh, into the hole that was intended for you to pack your power supply in, I've got a more pure boost, which is just there is a little bit of a gain boost, a little bit of a signal lift for solos. The Ibanez AD9 is a recent addition. I was doing some some work with a friend of mine helping him build some prototype solar power units last year. And in the back of his workshop there were a couple of uh, couple of pedals covered in dust. And as he's a drummer, I said, what are these doing here for? And uh, he said, well, somebody brought them to work anymore. If you can't fix them, throw them away for me. And I never got around to fixing them. And I had a look at this one, it was just seized up solid, it obviously been left in a cupboard for years. So liberal application of oil got the foot switch working again. A bunch of switch cleaner in the pots and uh, and it's all a fully functional analog delay. So I replaced the old Marshall Echo head that used to be in there with this because I prefer the sound of it. The other pedals are Boss DD2 and that's got something seriously electrically wrong with it and I've never gotten around to fixing it. It probably needs a recapping, judging by the, uh, the horrible noise it makes. Anyway, I totally digress. So I shall go and pick up a guitar, which today is going to be my Strat, my 57 reissue. And, uh, well, we'll just quickly run through some of the tones that I have on this board. So here's the clean tone. This is fairly much a stock 57 reissue. Uh, if you want to see more details about the only slight mod it's got, um, please go and look at the video on my Guitar of the Day series I did nearly a couple of years ago now. Okay, so here's how I've got the CS3 set up. The DS1, I've got it in the Ultra Mod mode, not the C9 mod. And you can hear why that tuner is a bit of a pain being in line, because you can hear the oscillator kicking in all the time. The SD1 I've got set for more of a, a low gain boost. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
driver, which I've got set for more of a mid gain. And I pretty much use these for stacking, so uh, got those two together. <laughs> And the super chorus, which is just there to thicken a little bit. And if we put the compressor sustain on at the same time. Oh no, it's the 80s again. And the 89. Still in the end, well, it just gives us a bit of a kicking volume. quick dirty run through where this pedal board is now. Just running on a standard one spot wall walk with a daisy chain. I've got an extra extra daisy chain connector available at the end in case I want to use a wire pedal externally to this thing. Not having any real noise problems with this thing apart from with the tuner so I don't see any reason to go for a, an isolated power supply on this one. These pedals all seem to get on with each other quite well. Okay, thanks very much. Don't forget to click subscribe, like, all the rest. Thanks.